What's up, what is great guys, guys and everybody else? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Ask Case, your boy Full and we're back with another Demon Slayer reaction. We are on season one, episode 21. Um, last episode, uh, quick recap. Basically, the two Demon Slayers that were sent to help out, um, well, not really help out, they were basically sent to actually deal with the problem because our boys were not going to be able to deal with the problem. Our boys and girl were not going to be able to deal with the problem. They were getting their asses handed to them. Um, but once these two showed up, you know, they dealt with the problems. I mean, I mean the 12, the one, the member of the 12, um, what was his name? The 12th Kizuki. Yeah, he was good. He was good when compared to like um, uh, Tanjiro. But then when compared to the other Demon Slayer, you know, he he just wasn't seeing him. He just wasn't seeing him. So they got axed. Um, and basically, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, we, also found, we also found out, like, the backstory of the, 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 the demon that was supposed to be acting as the older sister. Um, you know, she was basically being hunted down by some demon slayers. And then this dude asked her, like, you know, if she wants to be saved and then he basically told her to act as her, as his older sister and whatnot. Basically that's what happened to all the other demons that were there. They were just uh, pretending to be the family members and stuff like that. And yeah, you know, it was pretty sad, pretty messed up backstory actually. <laughs> Cause she did betray one of the other demons who trusted her and you know, uh, seemed to be a nice demon I guess, but you know, Hey, she had to do what she had to do to survive so yeah anyways so now they're asked we'll see what happens next um anyway so let's just get into this i hope you're enjoying this reaction if you do please leave a like sub to the channel and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this episode and yeah there you go it's a flashback to somebody's story or what this is a kid the the demon. Are we about to get like a sad backstory as well? <laughs> what? Re, yeah, that was the name Re. So he was sick, I guess. <laughs> あれは体が弱かった。生まれつきだ。走ったことがなかった。歩くのでさえも苦しかった。あ。And I mean, you done turned into a demon, fam. I'm pretty sure most parents would have. しい話を聞いた。川で溺れた我が子を助けるために死んだ親がいたそうだ。川で死んだその親は見事に親の役目を果たした。What exactly did you want your parents to do? I, I mean, drawn. <laughs> Fam, what else are they supposed to do in this situation? I'm sorry. Ah. I'm gonna have to pause. I don't understand what this dude want, wanted his parents to do in that situation. Your child drowning 
being carried away by the river is one thing. You can physically jump in there and try to save the child, right? Your child accepting to be turned into a demon is a whole different thing, you know, especially if there is no cure. Fam, what are they supposed to do? And then I know somebody may come and say, okay, but then, you know, uh, Tanjiro is here still trying to save his uh, little sister. Okay, but then, like, <sighs> Nezuko is a whole different situation, isn't she? Like, she could still recognize him and stuff like that. Or, but then it also seems as if he could recognize his parents, right? Because he could stay with them and stuff. Hmm. I don't know. But still, that is a very, very different situation than, you know, your child falling into the river. In this situation, hey, I, I understand the parents, fam. Especially if, if the child has already started, like, murdering people out there and eating them, bro. Like, bro, come on. Come on. Like... <laughs> Uh, anyways, anyways, <laughs> it's a tough situation to be another parent actually. So yeah, let go. So my Jesus is in denial as well. Unrealistic expectations plus denial. Hmm. その言葉を最後に母は断り切れた。ダウン。死んだ。大丈夫だ、ルイ。一緒に死んでやるから。殺されそうになった怒りで理解できなかった言葉だったが。So he was going to off himself or they were going to off themselves as well. その瞬間。唐突に理解した。ダーン。本物の絆を俺はあの夜、俺自身の手で切ってしまった。それでも、皆さん様、俺を励ましてくださった。全てはお前を受け入れなかった親が悪い。They didn't refuse to accept him. Fam, what the hell? They didn't refuse us to accept him. And abuse the shit out of them. Nah, fam. I can't give you a pass on that one. Like, I, I felt bad for him, you know, right after, like, the whole murdering his parents situation and all that. I could feel that, but man, this dude been out here, you know, he's been out here, like, torturing these other demons, fam. I don't know, do demons, do they have souls, I guess? I guess they do, because there was that one demon who ate his brother, 
and we saw like a uh, spirit or something you know uh dad mom let's go Oh shit, wait, do they mean they actually went to- oh no, I think it was just the, him like disintegrating I guess. But that was pretty fucked up. ひとくったおににナサケをかけるな。子供の姿をしていても関係ない。何十年と生きている醜い化け物だ。殺された人たちの無念を晴らすため、これ以上被害を出さないため、もちろん俺は。容赦なく鬼の首に居合えば振るいます。だけど鬼であることに苦しみ、自らの行いを悔いている者を踏みつけにはしない。鬼は人間だったんだから。俺と鬼は人間だったんだから。足を溶けてください。醜い化け物なん
Other demon or other demons there? No, I'm pretty sure he, he only sent two of them. Oh. Wait, where is she? Oh, he dropped. Okay, damn. I was like, what? Let's go. Another demon slayer. What? I thought there were only two. Yay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she knocked him. She knocked him out. Run, Nezuko, run. Oh, close. That was funny as hell, fam. I'm sorry. Oh, I think the Oni was going to be a good thing. I think the Oni was going to be a good thing. The Oni was going to be a good thing. The Oni was going to be a <laughs> the crows are watching, bro. What about Tosca? Ninemino Koto. My G was to go out on a <laughs> start of flashback, bro. Oh, okay. But didn't the, the the Demon Slayer core already know that Tanjiro was with uh, Nezuko? I'm pretty sure they should have known. The bird should have told them, right? I mean, the bird that delivered countless like messages. Well, not countless, but quite a number of messages from the headquarters and so that means I'm guessing that he maybe informed them already they should know already <laughs> I forgot to let this dude hanging here <laughs> yeah he's gonna eat you alive if you take that mask off Yeah. Oh, just a little bit of growth there. <laughs> Bro. Nanda I actually assumed the people that they were wrapping up were all like dead or something. Girl from the finest lunch, I don't remember her. Yeah, there's a lot of people I don't remember. Her. キサツタイトオニが戦った後の始末をする部隊構成する隊員は剣技の際に恵まれなかった人たちがほとんどだと思う。あ、オンライドだ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Wasn't my G injured, bro? Like the fuck? Oh shit! Let's go! Yo, them, them dudes look badass, fam. Like, honestly speaking, them Hashira motherfuckers, they look badass.
Yo! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see them in action too. Um, but yeah, this was a very good episode, fam. Like, I really enjoyed it. Um, I really did. The backstory thing with the... the what was the name? Uri, right? I, it was good, you know. But I, it's just, I'm finding it difficult to feel too bad for him. You know, I'm like, yeah, that's... That's a tough... That's a tough card to be dealt, you know? Like, the, his whole situation of, you know, being born with a frail body and, you know, not being able to go outside and ATC, ATC. And then, you know, him accepting or giving, being given the... The choice, I guess, the option to choose to either be a demon, to become a demon or not. I mean, I think that would be a pretty difficult choice to make. For me. Right? If I knew that I was going to be conscious. Right? Or if I thought that I was going to be able to, to retain my memories and control over my body. If I did become a demon. Would, would I take the... the would I choose to be a demon? I don't lie, I think I probably would, fam. I think I probably would. Because, I mean, that's a tough life to live, fam. If you can't even go out, if you can't even do anything much, like, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. But, yeah, so from him, you know, becoming a demon uh, <laughs> to him murdering people and ending up murdering his family... Even though his family were going to, like, you know, off him and then off themselves as well. <sighs> Damn, I did not see that one coming. I thought they were just going to off him and that's it, fam. I mean, I thought they were going to feel bad, like, really, really bad about it. But I didn't think they were going to off themselves too. Damn. And he just, that, the words of his dad just went over his head and he murdered them anyways. Damn, that's, that would break you, though. You offed your parents even though you, you offed your parents thinking that they didn't care about you at all. Thinking that, you know, you, your bond between, uh, between you guys was not real, you know. Just to realize that you're the one who cut that bond. You had a real bond and you cut it. And then he spent the rest of his life trying to make another bond no matter how fake it was. That's sad. That's sad. Hmm. But again, it's still pretty hard for me to actually feel like sorry for him because he was out here torturing these 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 other demons, you know, murdering humans and stuff like that. It's tough. It's tough. I, I know it's a sad story, but you know, yeah, yeah. Um, it was a very good story. Though. I will give it that. That was that was a very compelling story. <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, I really did not realize. Um. Oh wait, wait. One more question. Um, I was about to ask like. In Japanese culture, or oh. yeah, in Japanese culture, not not culture. In I don't know, should I say culture or religions, or religion? I'm pretty sure there's multiple religions in Japan, right? But anyways, what I'm trying to ask is the concept of heaven and hell. Cause he was like, um, I've killed so many human or so many humans, so I'm probably going to hell. And his parents were like, um, don't worry, wherever you go, we'll be there with you. So, what what exactly is the concept of... Is there a concept of heaven and hell? <clears throat> and if that's the case, then are people, are people just able to choose where they go? Like, where they die? Because they're like, yeah, we're going to be there with you. I mean, can you choose to be there with somebody? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just curious the way that they, you know, they say that. But anyways, it's just something that was going through my head. Um, but yeah, anyways, I really did not remember this dude. I do not remember his character at all. And I'm glad that nobody said it in the comments. Because, <laughs> I mean, it would have been like a spoiler. But then, you know, um, my reactions to it would, would, have, would have changed a little bit, you know. But... I'm very, I was very surprised to 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 be reminded that that was the dude who we met in the first episode. That was the dude who saved um, Tanjiro. Well, not really saved him, but he was the one who attacked <laughs> who attacked Nezuko and Tanjiro and them. And then you know he sent them to you know 
uh, or down this course basically to becoming Demon Slayer and Demon Slayer and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Like damn, I'm pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I did not remember him at all. I also don't remember who that girl was. The the other Demon Slayer, uh, the one that came at the end. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Zenitsu was like she was one of the the Demon Slayers who were at the final selection. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember her. That's the thing. I think maybe she might have been there, but I don't remember her. It's been a minute, fam. It really has been a minute. So eh, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, so I I think though the 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 main problem with uh, not really the main problem, but I think something that really was affecting Ray was the whole having these super high expectations for what a bond should be like a a bond a family bond should be you know i think maybe even maybe it was cause of the story that he heard because he like that story when he came back to that story about the father who gave up his life to save like his child and stuff like that i think that put like the expectations of what a uh, uh, family bond should be super high to unrealistic levels because I mean, that situation, that's one situation. And I can understand, the, like, you know, a parent going to those levels in that situation, you know? But when your child gets turned into a demon, what the fuck are you supposed to do? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think it was like a, a combination of the whole unexpected, uh, unrealistic expectations and like a form of like denial, you know? Um... <clears throat> and also add to that like uh the the fact that you know he said that the as time went by and as more human beings as the number of human beings he killed like increased and stuff right he basically started to lose like more of his, more and more of his humanity so there is that so you can you can you can kind of start to understand you know over time because maybe he was not so cruel. Maybe he was not so cruel to the other demons uh, at the beginning. You know? Maybe. Because we didn't see like how he started recruiting these other demons. We 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 got a flashback of the last demon, the, the last female demon, demon that got killed, right? We got her flashback and we saw, you know, her getting recruited. But then by then he had already like recruited quite a bunch of other demons. So... <clears throat> curious, curious. Maybe, maybe that's the case, you know. Which is pretty sad. Anyways, you know, I, I've noticed that it's a part, it's a part in here, in this show that you know the, the demons and stuff like that. They they get quite a pretty, a pretty sad backstory. And I do understand, you know, uh, Tanjiro's uh, point of view of you know demons used to be humans and whatnot. You know, so I would trample on them and stuff like that. That I I can respect that. Honestly speaking, I can respect that. The fact that he is still willing to massacre them, you know, because <laughs> of what they did, because you know um, they are here murdering humans and stuff like that, but still not do it in a douchey way. Still be like sympathetic to you know the choices that they had to make and you know um, stuff like that. It's it's I I can respect that. I honestly speaking can respect that. So yeah, anyways, uh, can't wait to see where this goes. I want to see more of them. Uh, Hashiro, Hashira, Hashira. You know, I want to see what they can do. Etc. Etc. <laughs> um, oh, this was pretty. This was pretty significant, actually. Um, Inosuke. It was just a, a short line when he was like, "Maybe I'm not the strongest." You know, when he was like, um, "I couldn't even defeat <laughs> one of these dudes on my own. Maybe I'm not the strongest." I think that's quite a, quite some growth thing. As long as he doesn't like quickly like make a U-turn like <laughs> the next episode, cause he could. But if he doesn't, then that would be quite some growth. That would be quite some growth. I can see him like you know actually leveling up quite a bit, and I would love to see it. I'd love to see it, cause he's already a beast, fam. Like he, he he's built different. That's just a fact. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, a nice. Touch there. I like that line. Oh, I can't wait to see what where that goes as well. But yeah, anyways, I enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction as well. If you did, please leave a like, sub to the channel, and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this episode. And yeah, later.